Hi everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy guys. So we are going to talk about an important name reaction in this video and this is going to be your uh, 58th name reaction. Right. Now the reaction is Sakurai Allylation reaction. It's very very important and it has been asked in your gate as well as CA Cyanet examination, uh, examinations very recently. Okay, so let's uh, discuss about this reaction and let's do some examples and the previous year question. So, what is this reaction? First of all, Sakurai or Hosomi Sakurai allylation reaction. Very simple one. Lewis acid mediated addition of allyl silanes to carbon nucleophiles. Okay. So, what are we talking about? Lewis acid mediated addition of alkyl silanes. So, these are alkyl silanes to your carbon nucleophiles, right? So, basically, who is a carbon nucleophile? Right. See, what is the overall process? Let me tell you the simple mechanism. What is going to happen? In the presence of Lewis acid, what, what does the Lewis acid do? Lewis acid is going to connect with this carbonyl somehow, right? And then what happens? The carbonyl becomes electron deficient and in turn the double bond, which is actually less polarized, becomes even more polarized, right? So even more polarized double bond will be attacked, will be attacked by who? Will be attacked by a carbon by this carbon and this carbon is basically your nucleophile obviously does not have a negative charge but the double bond is going to attack like this okay so how is that assisted there will be a positive charge on this carbon right so that is assisted the double bond when it attacks in this way right it is assisted by the formation of a very stable beta cation beta silyl cation okay we'll see that in the mechanism very very simple reaction and very important so this is how the reaction goes alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound reacting with your allyl silane in the presence of any Lewis acid to finally give you this kind of a molecule. Now what happens is if there is no alpha beta unsaturated compound. Alright, uh, so what happens, right? Let's uh, let's talk about both of these possibilities. If we have a direct carbonyl compound and if we have an alpha beta unsaturated compound, right? Only carbon. Let's talk about both of these possibilities in this reaction. So first of all, the mechanism is as I have told you. This is what we had uh, taken: a simple alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Allyl silane, and in the presence of a Lewis acid, what will happen? So we, I have TiCl4. So when the oxygen attracts and connects to titanium, it's going to lose one of the chlorines. It becomes TiCl3. All right. Yes, it becomes TiCl3, and there will be a positive charge on the oxygen. The bond must open up from here. If the bond opens up from here, there must be a positive charge on this carbon of the alkene system. TiCl3, a double bond over here, a positive charge on the beta position, right? So, this beta position will be attacked very quickly by the allylic double bond, allyl silane, right? And if this happens, a very simple reaction if this happens you are getting OTICL3 now obviously there is a Cl- minus which has gone free over here from the TICL4 okay so what happens is there will be a new carbon carbon bond formation this is your new carbon carbon bond formation this is not above the plane it is new carbon carbon bond I'm showing over here and rest of the molecule as it is however there will be a positive charge on this carbon right so what is this carbon this is a carbon which is beta to the silicon so we have a effect called the beta silicon effect all right i hope you know about this what is a beta silicon effect that is this is kind of a conjugation effect see uh, usually when you have a positive charge next to any heteroatom like this the heteroatom can stabilize it by providing the lone pair of electrons right however this is on the alpha position right 
but any positive charge which is beta to the same heteroatom this is not stable okay similarly any positive charge which is alpha to silicon cannot be stable because it does not have a lone pair however any positive charge which is beta to sime3 that will be stable because here it can do partial conjugation like this bond can you know it can share the electrons just like a three center two electron bond something like that or let's say a uh, uh, non classical resonance something like that so basically it is kind of a conjugation which goes on and it is stabilized like this okay this is how it is stabilized so this is called the beta silicon effect and that is why the reaction goes like this because the positive charge on the beta position will be stable and also we have a cl minus which is free so you know that these kind of nucleophiles have a very strong preference for silicon as compared to carbon itself so the cl minus is not attacking on the positive charge it will rather attack on the uh, silicon and free this bond over here and hence you are getting the you are you are getting the half product and after this after aqueous workup you will get the final product okay so there is half of your product and sime3cl is free you can write it like this this is free from here okay and along with that after the yeah last step is always the aqueous workup you need to remove the extra stuff so after the aqueous workup you can have a oh bond over here it can undergo tautomerism and give you the give you the carbonyl back so it is like you are adding a nucleophile it is like 1,4 addition isn't it this is like conjugate addition this is like conjugate addition to the alpha beta unsaturated compound and this is how it results this is your molecule right and here is the overall mechanism now I had also discussed that if you don't have the alpha beta unsaturated compound then what will happen if you don't have the alpha beta unsaturated compound if you only have the carbonyl then obviously the same reaction will go through let's say you have this molecule TiCl4 it's going to be attracted like this and then the nucleophile does not have any other choice than to make this attack over here OTiCl3 and there will be a new carbon carbon bond formation which is like a direct addition reaction so you might have something like this and which will also lead to a alcohol product after aqueous workup this part will become OH okay so basically when you have the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl then you have the sakurai allylation reaction if you don't have it you have a simple one to addition reaction okay so sakurai allylation is your conjugate addition of what conjugate addition of allyl silane to your carbonyl compound okay all right so yeah i would rather say carbon electrophiles over here that is to your alpha beta unsaturated compounds now let's do an example this example is very very important and very simple as well so here you see there is a doubly uh, uh, conjugated system this was your alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl then you have alpha beta gamma and delta so much of unsaturation over here but the reaction is very simple what is TMS trimethylsilane that is ME3SI this group this is your TMS group right and what is the Lewis acid aluminium is there right so this is your lewis acid as a replaceable cl is also present okay so what are you supposed to do you are first of all going to uh, write the attraction of oxygen with the uh, aluminium and one of the cl might be lost over here all right when it forms a permanent bond like this with aluminium one ethyl group, one Cl, one Cl has re been removed. So the bond might shift over here and you will generate a positive charge. Alright. 
so you will generate a positive charge on the delta carbon not the beta carbon because you have extended resonance let the other things be as it is and the tms you can write as sime3 okay so the cl minus you can just uh, show it in this way the cl minus is going to attack over silicon the bond is going to open up like this and you have the product formation or the cyclization in this way now you can also say that why the uh, chlorine is attacking on the silicon but why <clears throat> this bond is not itself attacking over here because that is going to give you a very huge ring you you won't do that you won't do this kind of an attack okay not possible a huge ring forms which is not stable a six member ring is always favored okay and also because there are two groups on there's one group on the junction right that is why the cyclization would prefer this iso uh, propenyl group to be below the plane okay so this must attack below the plane all right so this is how you get the product very simple reaction after the aqueous workup you will get the product over here allylation reaction okay now similarly you have a question december 2019 csir net examination you have a question in the paper and it's asking you the major product formed in the following reaction is this is a four mark question so you identify the reaction you have a lewis acid and you have a uh, allyl silane over here and you have a alpha beta unsaturated compound the reaction is very simple however don't forget to just write the mechanism don't do it directly never do a reaction directly OTICl3 yes this this step you can miss all right there is a positive charge on this carbon like this and the bond is going to move away and let us just write sir3 let's just uh, write the isopropyl group as r okay it's a bulky group so now you have something like this a cl minus is going to attack over silicon the bond is going to open away and the reaction gives you conjugate attack as always OTICl3 this kind of a double bond SIR3 and Cl this is free all right very well but what happens here the you know here you still have cyclization something more it does not end over here and you don't have a aqueous workup and in the final step so what are you going to do you can see that this bond can fall and give you two kind of cyclization reaction see so this bond has fallen over here and the double bond can attack either on this bond or on this uh, on this carbon basically so you see that if this carbon attack this bond attacks it is going to attack from here because the other side it's already forming a double bond so this carbon will rather give a bigger ring 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 so it will rather form a five member ring than a four member ring so your answer should be <clears throat> all right so your answer should be something like this all right so if it happens let's say if it happens you must get a negative charge on the central carbon on the carbon within the ring how is that possible because the double bond has attacked what is the driving force of this reaction right because we usually don't see such reaction the driving force is that the double bond can further attack on silicon and remove the cl minus so you don't have a negative charge you have a bond with the si r3 part okay or let's see where does it go okay okay so you are going to have a bond over here not here okay not here sir3 this is the correct position one two and third carbon one two and third carbon from here okay so your answer should be option number one right so you may also get confused in option number two as well but you can see that a four member ring is not stable so yeah just uh, you can just cross it over here the answer is option number one all right so this is your sakurai allylation reaction december 2019 csi net question there are still more questions in the previous years you can check them out and recently uh, this is a this is becoming a very popular reaction so you can just uh, prepare it nicely for uh, future exams as well all right so okay guys i am going to see you in such videos more reactions are coming up 
and more classes on an academy are also coming up my classes are starting from the month of april do visit my profile on an academy plus and don't forget to join and uh, if you're using the code jagriti s you're getting a 10 percent discount on it right so if you want to know more about an academy plus and my courses over there you can message me on telegram and you can uh, join the link join the group by the link in the description as well. I'll see you very very soon. Bye everyone.